Good afternoon, Rich Nass back here with Open Systems Media, and we are in the Freescale booth at the moment here at Embedded World in Nuremberg. And I'm here with Ron Martino, and uh, he is going to tell us about a new exciting announcement that, that they have to extend the i.mx family. Ron? Oh, thank you, Rich. I appreciate that. Uh, really excited to be here at Embedded World. Uh, we have uh, about 23 different uh, demos here, a lot of demos around an uh, application processor family. Um, and I'm really excited about the uh, announcement of our Solo X um, processor, which is an extension of the iDynamic 6 family. Um, it has three key attributes of this very highly uh, integrated apps processor. It's targeted at uh, connected vehicles as well as connected homes. Uh, and the features that really make it exciting are enhancements in security, where we have um, flexibility around domain controllers, uh, domain um, uh, controller blocks within the um, uh, application processor. We have a heterogeneous multi-core system where we combine an A9 core with an M4 core that gives flexibility in operating systems where you're sensing uh, different um, activities around the application and then using an A9 core in order to get performance when necessary and shut it down for power efficiency when you need to be in a low power mode. And then in addition to that, we have a fully enabled ecosystem for the uh, IDATM X6 family, which will continue to the Solo X family. So it's a very exciting offering. It brings security, it brings power efficiency with heterogeneous multi-cores, and full enablement with the rest of the IDATM X6 uh, family. Well, that's great. Now, one of the claim to fame for Freescale is always, you mentioned ecosystem. So if, if you know IDATM X, you roll right into this new architecture? Yes, so in terms of the type of ecosystems, we have our Sabre evaluation system, we have design services that um, are part of the ecosystem, and we work with many third-party uh, ecosystem partners that are enabling um, IoT community boards, enabling healthcare monitoring systems, enabling software uh, enablement platforms uh, and services from third-party companies as well. Well, that's great, Ron. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thank you.